Thanks to popular culture, dinosaurs that lived in North America are better known to the general public. But the South American continent also boasts a large number of species of these ancient pangolins. Many of them are not inferior in anything, and in many ways they are superior to their competitors from the other continents. In addition, there is an opinion among scientists that the first dinosaurs appeared precisely in those regions of the Pangaea supercontinent, which are now South America. Today, we will take a closer look at the carnivorous dinosaurs found on this continent. When subscribing to the Dinosaur Age channel, you will be able to learn earlier about the release of new videos. Our viewers have the opportunity to comment on published materials and express their support for the creators for the channel with the help of likes. Archosaurs are believed to be the ancestors of dinosaurs. The last of these creatures inhabited the Earth simultaneously with the first representatives of the dinosaur superorder and died out only by the end of the Triassic period. Moreover, the first representatives of dinosaurs practically did not differ from their predecessors. Purely technical, all dinosaurs can also be related to archosaurs. Also, archosaurs are all extinct and now existing species of reptiles, crocodiles, and birds. In a narrow sense, the concept means that that creature gave rise to all the listed branches of evolution. The classic carnivorous archosaur that lived in which is now Argentina about 230 million years ago was the Marasuchus. This small pangolin in length reached no more than 130 centimeters. Literally, his name translates as Crocodile Mara. Mara is the large South American rodent. It is possible the Marasuchus is a transitional link between the classical archosaurs and the more advanced dinosaurs. Its hind legs were much longer than the front legs, like those of the carnivorous theropods. But, most likely, this creature often used all four limbs for movement. At the same time, in the structure of its skeleton, there are features uncharacteristic for dinosaurs. At the moment, there are several controversial finds of earlier dinosaurs on other continents. But, so far, among the officially studied predatory species, the earliest remains belong to such lizards from South America as Herrerasaurus, Storicosaurus, and Araraptor, who inhabited this continent in the Triassic period. Herrerasaurus is a fairly large dinosaur. The length of his body could reach 4.5 meters and weigh 200 kilograms. The remains of this predator, who lived along the rivers, have been found in Argentina quite regularly since the late 50s of the last century. Now scientists attribute the lizard to the ancestors of prosopods and theropods, which separated into separate branches of development a little bit later. The remains of Storicosaurus were discovered in Brazil in 1936, but they described it only after four decades. It was a small bipedal lizard, a little over 2 meters long and up to 80 centimeters high. Its mass, according to various estimates, was either 12 to 30 kilograms. This fast and agile hunter ate small animals and insects. In one of the documentaries about dinosaurs, this species is even called the very first dinosaur on the planet. Now it is believed that Aeroraptor, who lived in Argentina around 228 million years ago, is about 10 million years older than the Storicosaurus. This dinosaur can be called quite tiny. According to researchers, its length did not exceed 170 centimeters and weighed only about 5 kilograms. There was also a version that the body size of this dinosaur did not exceed 1 meter, but it weighed up to 10 kilograms. Aeoraptors, Storicosaurus, and Herrerasaurus had many of the features of later theropods, but they were not yet theropods in the full sense of the word. Later, larger and more famous species of carnivorous dinosaurs appeared on the territory of South America. This continent boasts its own super predators and pack hunters and rather unusual dinosaurs. Abelosaurus Despite the fact that scientists have only one incomplete skull of this dinosaur at their disposal, 
It gave the name to a whole family of predatory theropods that lived not only in South America. This skull was found in 1983 in the Argentine province of Rio Negro. Its length has been estimated at 85 centimeters. Since all known abasauruses have a fairly short head, the total body length of this pangolin was estimated at 7.5 meters. He could weigh more than two tons. These dinosaurs were distributed towards the end of the Cretaceous period. Carnotaurus or carnivorous bull, probably the most famous predator of the dinosaur era, comes from South America. His remains were discovered in 1984, an almost completely preserved skeleton of a bipedal dinosaur from the Albasaurid family fell into the hands of scientists. A distinctive feature on the Carnotaurus, for which he received his name, is a pair of characteristic horns on its head just above the eyes. The purpose of these bone outgrowths is still not exactly explained. Perhaps they serve to protect the eye when used in fights for the female. There is even an assumption that the predator could strike its victims during a hunt with them. But nowhere in nature are horns used by predatory animals, especially as a weapon of attack. Another interesting feature of the Carnotaurus is their four-fingered forelimbs. Other dinosaurs with a similar body structure have only three fingers on the front paws. At the same time, the front paws of the Carnotaurus are so small compared to the general size that they look quite funny. Its length is estimated 7.5 meters, its height is almost 3 meters, and its weight is more than 2 tons. Most likely, this lizard practically did not use the front legs. Erosteron This megaraptoid dinosaur is the oldest known to have a respiratory system similar to that of modern birds. That's why he received the name that could be translated as Airbone. He lived in South America in the period from 70 to 83 million years ago. At the disposal of researchers so far, there is only one skeleton, but it is well preserved allowing to draw conclusions about the size and origin of the species. The length of the lizard was about 9 meters and weighed about 2 tons. It is noteworthy that the Aristeron is not related to any of the branches of large theropods that spread on the continent at the end of the Cretaceous. The closest family to it are the Allosaurids that live in North America. Tyranotitan this lizard from the early Cretaceous period, without a doubt, fully justifies its name. With a length of 12 meters, a height of 4 meters, and a weight of 5 tons, he could hardly have at least some rivals for a fight of the title of the main predator of the region. Gigantosaurus Approximately 10 to 12 years after Tyranna Titan, the most formidable predator of South America was a dinosaur more than 14 meters long and up to 4 meters tall and weighing 7 to 8 tons. His name translates as Giant Southern Lizard, and he is fully corresponding to that definition. Piatnoskysaurid This family of lizard is one of the largest theropods of the Jurassic period. Their remains are found mainly on the territory. This family includes the Pyathnoskysaurs themselves, as well as Marchosaurs and Condoraptors. The length of these dinosaurs was approximately 4 to 5 meters and several hundred kilograms. Megaraptor This theropod differs from many of its colleagues in the presence of large claws on the front paws. Here we can say with confidence that for representatives of the Megaraptoid family, they were not a rudiment and were actively used in hunting. With a body length of about 8 meters and a mass of more than 1 ton, these dinosaurs could occupy the niche of fast and agile hunters. Orcaraptor A smaller relative of Megaraptor, which lived in Argentina approximately 72 to 77 million years ago, is known for several found vertebrae, a lower leg bone, parts of the skull, and teeth. 
Scientists suggest that he had a similar structure of his larger relative. The length of his body is estimated about 6 meters and weighed at 500 kilograms. And if the name Megaraptor means big hunter or big robber, then this predator was nicknamed Orc Robber. Mauritia You should not think that early predators of South America, which had a small size, turned into the giants that terrified all life on the continent. Mauritia is a relative of the Comsognathans better known to us and does not stand out for its huge size. Like its distant ancestors, this dinosaur is slightly more than 2 meters long and weighs no more than 7 kilograms. This small theropod lived in Brazil in the early Cretaceous period. Only the most famous and unusual carnivorous dinosaurs of South America were included in this video. But during the dominance of these lizards on our planet, so many species appeared and disappeared in this region that it is simply unrealistic to fit any of them into one video. We thank the viewers who watched this video to the end. If you are interested in scientific theories related to the development of dinosaurs and other living organisms that inhabited our planet at different times, then we advise you to pay attention to the other videos posted on the Dinosaur Age channel.